two of you today in Vegas. Congratulations. Dear friends, the name is Elvis, and as you can see, I am alive and well. I'm here today to celebrate, right? Yeah. Yeah. Celebrate is the key word. Celebrate the marriage vows. That marriage, that marriage word, it sounds, it sounds scary, doesn't it? Marriage vows of Zenith and Brett and the two of you. I'm just going to say it out loud because later on I'm going to have this video and people are going to be thinking it. I'm just going to say it because it's the truth. The two of you make a smoking hot couple. Can you feel it out there? I'm just going to stand here and feel the love and feel the heat coming off the two of you today. Congratulations, both of you, sincerely. Let me just say a little bit about marriage. Marriage is a wonderful tradition, right? Instituted since the time of our very beginnings. Marriage is a marvelous, marvelous adventure. It's a journey taken by two, but it's also a commitment. Right? commitment to live together, love together, celebrate together, and just work out all life's challenges, but together. And the happiness, come on now. We've been in the back of that limo for an hour, and there's nothing but happiness from both of these guys coming up. The happiness is made real when there is the utmost surrender of yourselves and your hearts to one another. Am I right? You're right. Yeah. Absolutely. Brett and Zena, do you promise to continue? And maybe we should do that one year thing, one year at a time, you know, because I love that part, right? The, the, the pagan thing that they said, that only one year. Do you promise to continue to let your love grow very strong so it will always, always overcome all of life's obstacles? I do. I do. Thank goodness, otherwise you've been traveling for a whole year for nothing, right? <laughs> and you got the half this, too. And you tell a kilt. Try to focus here, okay? <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you promise to love, honor, and cherish each other, and always speak the truth to each other? In sickness and health? I do. I do. But say it to each other, otherwise we'll get married and it won't okay. work out. All right. All right. I do. I do? I do. <laughs> Excellent. All right, now, I want you to keep looking in each other's eyes. I want you to try to remember for us right now, the very, very, very first time you ever, ever, ever Maybe not that tone, Brad. What I'm looking for here is a really romantic time that we're together. Maybe a first dance. No, no, no. When you were roommates and you actually took her over to see your parents that time, and you said, you know, thinking about this whole relationship thing, she's like, really? No way. What? And then it happened. It just kind of happened. And you know what? What I really got from the whole story, honestly and truthfully, that somehow Zenith knew very much that there was a part of you that she was lacking or looking for, maybe is the better word, looking for in her life. And so much of the roadmap that you were looking for in your own life, Brett, she possessed without even knowing it. It's kind of like that thing where that, that person has the, uh, the information encoded on them and somehow you found each other in this crazy world. And we were really talking about that, how it's not a, it's not a mystery because we're going around broadcasting 24-7 who we are in, with, on our foreheads. We just don't know it. We think it's a secret. And even though you were very mysterious, which just turned out to be shyness, which I really liked that about you, <laughs> you were absolutely right for somebody. Think about it this way. Every wrong turn you thought you took, every mistake you thought you made in life actually brought you to stand here holding under the hands of the love of your life. Because if one thing had been different, we wouldn't be here today. So in my mind, there are no mistakes, so-called mistakes, when we're on our authentic, divine, mystical life journey. And this is the next chapter in that mystical, divine journey, the two of you, the two of you both leading, called what? Called marriage. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so it sounds so grown up, doesn't it? So with that in mind, I want you to speak these words to each other. After me. To have and to hold. To have, have and to hold. hold. From this day forward. From this day, from this day forward. forward. In joy and celebration. In joy and, and celebration. celebration. In love and understanding. In love and understanding. I pledge you my faith. I, I pledge you my faith. faith. Perfect. And I have a special song that I actually dedicated to Zena from Brett. And you can you can like slow dance with each other or just like hold each other and move rhythmically. <laughs>
beautiful, beautiful. Now, the rings that we're about to exchange with one another, they're symbols, right? They're symbols of an unbroken circle, without a beginning, without an end, just like the two of you are coming together today in this magical, mystical place called Valley of Fire. As husband and wife, but not really. More like boyfriend and girlfriend for life. And I love that. I love that because it sounds way more romantic and way more fun, doesn't it? So, do we have a ring for this beautiful young lady? Excellent. A little bit of a process to get it That's okay. Show, so. <coughs> That's okay. <laughs> Didn't want to leave them. Just right? Can I have place as well? Place those beautiful rings. Yeah, I get that one out too. Thank you. Okay, let's start with Brett. Place those beautiful rings on Zenith hand and repeat after me with this beautiful, expensive ring. <laughs> this beautiful, expensive ring. I V wed. I be wed. With a promise? With a promise. That my love will grow stronger. That my love will grow stronger. Throughout the years. Throughout the years. Good job, perfect. Zenith, it's your turn. Okay. Place your right on his hand and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. With a promise. With a promise. That my love will never fade. That my love will never fade. And I will always be as smoking hot as I am today. And I would always be as smoking hot as I am today. I put that part in for you, Brett. Thank you. You're welcome. I went right off the script. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we doing right now? What are we doing? We're celebrating, right? Here we are. We met each other today. We're celebrating. We're celebrating life. We're celebrating love. We're celebrating the fact that the miracle of two people coming together in this crazy, wonderful world. But more than that, and this is what really hits me, this is the truth more so today than ever before, we're looking at ourselves in a mirror. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even though... You don't look you're not dressed up like this, and I don't look as cute as the two of you do. We're looking at ourselves in the mirror because we're mirrors for all of it, for everybody. Mirror of ourselves on our best day, our very best day, because none of us gets any bigger or brighter or full of love or hope or light than two people on a wedding day pledging unconditional love, acceptance of another human being exactly the way they are. That's as good as it gets, guys. So thank you so much for reminding me what makes this crazy, wonderful world go around. People like you falling in love every single day. For real, for real. Thank you so much. I feel blessed to meet the two of you today and find out a little bit about you. Not a little bit, but a lot about you because I feel like we're kindred spirits. And just get to enjoy this whole thing because I feel blessed that we're all here together. So I'm going to do a brief, crazy, not pagan, not any religious blessing to the two of you. Although I have a... I keep thinking about pagan thing keeps coming out because <laughs> it hit me so good. Very appropriate, yes. <laughs> I, I really feel blessed and I feel like that I know something right now in my heart and that is that your home, wherever it may be, is filled with nothing but joy, love, laughter, patience, kindness, respect, perfect health, prosperity, and most of all, forgiveness for each other. I know all your friends and family that are going to find out about this later and watch this crazy video, they're all given the strength to support you. Those that could not be here with us today, those that have gone before and actually here with us in spirit as your surrounding angels right now, they're all given the strength, the courage to support you in your lifetime journey of love because those will be the people, the angels you lean on. In good times and bad as you move in your journey of life. So let's just say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this perfect, perfect day you've given to Zenith and Brett on their wedding day. Amen. Here's my favorite part of the whole thing. By the power vested in me by this crazy great state of Nevada. And you both admit it's a little bit crazy, right? It is my privilege to pronounce I am a minister. It is my privilege to pronounce you. Husband and wife, you no, boyfriend and girlfriend. Kiss your beautiful girlfriend and never stop, Brett. Congratulations. Give it up for him, everybody. That's right. Congratulations, you guys. Oh my gosh, we've got to do this song. It wouldn't be the same. No, not that song. This song. It's now or never. This